Man, we got a lot to catch up on. So I got into 3D resin printing about a year ago. My first printer was an Elegoo Saturn II, which is a medium sized printer. It was a much cheaper way to get involved with 3D printing, but the size was a problem for my needs. I knew from the beginning I wanted to print large figures, and the solution to that is in this box. So Frozen is one of the best brands for 3D resin printing, and they recently dropped a new large format printer that wasn't $2,500. That new printer is the Frozen Sonic Mega AKS. As you can see, this printer is big as hell and weighs about 57 pounds, but that's exactly what I need for the type of prints I'm interested in. The packaging was on point with a decent amount of protection. However, this phone piece did give me some trouble when trying to get the lid open. Here you can see me taking out the huge vat which uses ACF as the release film. This helps to print faster. The build plate should give you an idea of how large I can actually print with this. The print volume is about 33 by 18 and a half by 30 centimeters. Setup was quick and easy because these come pre-calibrated from the factory. I pretty much removed the protective film and installed the vat and build plate. I picked up this heater separately to help with warming the resin before printing. In my experience, once the printer is running, you no longer need a heater because the printer generates enough heat on its own. This is more of just a luxury for me. Frozen does include these charcoal filters, but they do need to be charged. I'm not too sure how I feel about that yet. I'm filling up the vat with speed resin. Speed resin is designed to cut down print times for large prints, but we will touch on that more in the next video. I decided to print out the test rook that comes on the included SanDisk flash drive. At the time of recording this, there is still no support in Chitsu box for the Mega 8KS. However, Frozen's instructions are to use the original Mega 8K and change the Z to 300 millimeters. Off camera, I cleaned the print with 99% isopropyl alcohol and put it in the cure station for a few. Stay tuned for the next video where we print out a large model I made.